Today we let Smash Ultimate Imperialism decide which Squad Strike franchise team is the best. Let me explain. So on this wheel are 10 different teams ranging from Team Triforce, Team Pokemon, Team Icarus, all the way to Team NES and Team Third Party. So we're going to spin this wheel and see which team of three the wheel will land on. We're then going to spin this arrow and see which way that team will be attacking. So let's say the team wheel landed on Team Pokemon and the wheel pointed southwest. Team Pokemon, which consists of Pokemon Trainer Pikachu and Mewtwo, would travel southwest until they attacked Team Triforce, which is of course Team Ganondorf, Team Link, and... Team Ganondorf and Team Link? It's just Ganondorf, Link, and Zelda. My bad. So I have done a Franchise and Squad Strike Imperialism video before, but one viewer, City D's S-I-D-D-Y-D-E-E-Z, which I know is a D's nuts joke, I get it, it's funny, haha, ha. everyone laughed. Um, that viewer recommended this idea, made the teams, uh, the people in the teams, it's honestly, he watched the um, Squad Strike Imperialism and said, hey, here's an idea for a part two, and I really like the teams, and I said, hey, why not, let's do a part two. So there's 10 different teams, and we're going to see which team prevails and is the best team. So I think we're just going to head into it. Leave down in the comments who you think is going to win because the Squad Strike Franchise Imperialism Rematch starts right now. Everyone's favorite part of the video, we spin the wheel, and we're going to see Team Metroid. This team consists of Samus, Zero Suit Samus, and Ridley. I'm pretty sure we left out Dark Samus, and that's the only Metroid character that we didn't include in this team. And Team Metroid will be attacking West. Which means Team Metroid will be attacking Team Pokemon, and like I said in the intro, it is Pokemon Trainer, Pikachu, and Mewtwo. Uh, we will be on one of the Pokemon stadiums, since it is uh, Pokemon's home turf. So, three teammates, each person gets one stock, and then the Smash Ball is active um, with uh, regular Squad Strike rules. Let's do it. Here we go. Can Team Pokemon defend their land from the space people? I don't know much about Metroid, alright? Don't blame me in the comments. We're going to do random teams for both, and let's see what happens. Alright, Samus Mewtwo, Ridley Pikachu, and Zero Suit, and Pokemon trainer i do have a preference but every time i make my preference known they lose so i'm gonna keep it to myself i honestly think both teams have a really good shot both teams have a diverse crew i think um city d's the guy who made the um video idea made sure like the teams are pretty good you two with a fantastic neutral b sorry i'm yapping didn't have a chance to say that charging up another neutral b okay Ooh, samus fires back their own neutral b they both have Big charge shots. Oh, but a dodge from Mewtwo, and then Mewtwo releases another neutral B. Oh, up smash. Samus let go at the wrong time of shield. Oh, okay. All right, Mewtwo's dodging a lot, and Samus is using that grab mechanic a lot, but not actually getting the grab. Okay, landed into an up smash. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, forward air from Samus. Grab, down throw. Forward air doesn't make. Oh, up air does though. Mewtwo's out of here already. Pikachu coming in. Okay, well, that didn't do too much. All right, Pikachu just... Oh, down air. That was... Pikachu, yo, what you doing? Thank you. <laughs> Don't know what you're doing. Okay, tried to go for the grab. Did not work. Come on, Pikachu. Side B. Very interesting play there. I mean, it worked, but I'm just curious. Grab into an up throw, into an up smash. Golly, Samus is going nuts. If Samus grabs the Smash Ball, this is really bad for Team Pokemon. Good forward air! Oh my gosh! Samus with the down air of the century! Pokemon Trainer needs the Smash Ball. He needs it bad. He grabs it! We need to get Samus out, then use the Smash Ball. That's like best case scenario. Come on, switch to Ivysaur or something. Get the stock! I, uh, I mean, yeah, we got, the, okay, I mean, I don't agree with that play, because we still have Ridley and Zero Suit Samus to go, because Samus got a, just a crazy down air on Pikachu, way to dodge the side B, that side B probably kills, come on Ivysaur, just do, okay Ivysaur, I need you to like, okay Ivysaur, switch to Charizard, there you go, that, that's the right call, 
All right, dragon versus dragon. Kinda, I, I guess for at least a dragon. Oh my gosh, dude. Why is Pokemon Trainer just getting worked? Bro, <laughs> do something, please. Good forward air. Good down air. Good down smash. Thank you. Oh, terrible flare blitz. Golly. Okay, back air. Ooh, good side B. Flare blitz to get back on stage. Back air, golly. Red, ooh, side B was blocked. And then a back, yeah. Pokemon Trainer never <laughs> wins these videos, bro. I'm so sad. So the Galactic Warriors did take the win over Team Pokemon. I am only um, infinitely sad. It's okay. We got so many more teams to go. I think there's eight other teams. So we got to see what the, mat the next match brings us. And the next team we are going to see, it is going to be Team Super... Mario. And on Team Super Mario is Mario, Peach, and Bowser. Team Mario will be attacking Southeast. But would you look at that? Team Metroid is back at it already. But this time, they're defending. So can Mario and Bowser, and I guess Peach, she's there too... Can they all team up together and take down the Galactic... I, I still don't know what Metroid is, alright? I'm very sorry. Alright, the stage is set. We are going to Norfair, aka the Fiery Inferno. That is a Samus stage. Random teams for both. And we are going to see Mario against Samus, the cover athletes. Oh wow, this actually works out great. The two cover athletes, and I know Samus, Zero Suit Samus is Samus, but, you know. Cover athletes, the girls, and then the two behemoths. Bowser Ridley is a great great finish if we can get there, you know. Alright, here we go. Alright, Mario lands into an up smash with Samus. And now we're just, okay, good parry. Another good parry. Mario's on the defensive. Hasn't hit Samus, like, at all. So I'm very confused on Mario's tactic of being all deep. Okay, okay, hold on. He got an up smash. Let me just shut up. Okay. The little four. No, that was a neutral air. Okay, they both fall in the lava. Interesting decision from both, both teams. Don't quite understand that. Maybe there's a tactic I'm not understanding. I mean, all I saw was tons of damage. Good forward air from Samus. Oh, that recovery would have been good if it landed. Samus fell in the lava again. Oh, Mario missed the up smash. I thought Samus was going to launch the neutral B. Oh, speaking of up smash, Mario uses his noggin to get the first stock. Zero Suit Samus is now on dock. All right, Mario falls in the lava. He is really not paying attention to the surroundings. Oh, good grab. Up throw into the spinny combo. Oh, if Sam Zero Suit Samus can get in. Oh, she traps Mario outside. Gets in. Wait, Mario dodged that? What? I mean, like, congrats to him. Ooh, good back air. Zero Suit Samus says, I don't care that you dodged the fire. You're still losing a stock. Okay, Zero Suit Samus with the up tilts and the up smash. The up Bs. Oh, my gosh. Peach is getting wrecked. Good grab. Good turn up throw. Smash Ball is online. This would be huge for Peach, but... Honestly, I think it'd be even bigger for Samus. She is playing from behind right now. Both competitors fall in the lava. Peach! She does get it! Put Samus to sleep! And if she could charge a fully charged floor... She got... That was just disrespectful. Side B into the volcano. And if she eats these, yep. Recover. Recover the health. Okay, Peach recovered tons of health there. What is Peach doing? Peach, what are you doing? Peach, I'm so confused! Okay, I don't understand the tactics. I mean, I guess it doesn't really just... D d is he dead? No, he's not. Peach, honestly, getting that Smash Ball is huge for her. Good grab, up throw. Ooh, into the recovery. Very interesting. Okay, this, the Cha side B, double block. Uh, oh, another turn up. Okay, double turn up throw. 
All right, Peach. Okay. Oh, wow. The double turn up throw into... I think that might have been a forward air. Really don't know. Okay. Ooh. Ridley throws Peach into the fire. Now Bowser's online. Bowser should win. This should be a free stock and win for Bowser. But Ridley is trying everything. Good block. Okay. Hey, wow. Okay. Wow. Dang. That was very anticlimactic. Just a little forward tilt for Bowser. I, yeah. I'm okay. Bowser. Bowser's Bowser. Do we really expect anything else? Bowser's a freaking behemoth in Smash Imperialism. And just like that, Team Mario controls almost the entire middle portion of the map. I think it's going to take a really, really good team or a really serious blunder from Team Mario to lose because they have Bowser. Bowser with the Smash Ball is like an insta stock, and then Bowser's just good. I don't understand why Bowser's so like elite, because Bowser is not a top tier character in Smash. But when we play Imperialism, he's like the man to beat. I really don't understand it. Both teams that were on defense have lost. It's looking like we're going to repeat similarly the style of last episode. You want to be attacking. Team Triforce is looking to replicate another victory. Team Triforce, of course, like I said in the intro, is Link, Ganondorf, and Zelda. And Team Triforce will be attacking Southwest. It's a little bit of a funky angle, but Team Triforce is going into Team Kid Icarus. There's only three characters in the Kid Icarus franchise. That is Pit, Politana, and Dark Pit. So we're going to see if Pit and Dark Pit clash and can't get the win, or if Team Triforce can't get everything together. One of these teams, they're either going to pull it together, or the other one is going to have a serious blunder. I think this match could get very, very good. We are headed to Sky World. Um, I don't know. I see both teams having a really good shot here to win. The odds are not in Kid Icarus's favor. We're going to see Link and Dark Pit, Ganondorf and Pit, and then Zelda and Politana ending with the princess uh, role models, kind of. Honestly, Zelda Politana, I think, is going to be a fantastic back and forth match. It's going to come down to who does more damage, Link and Ganondorf or Dark Pit and Pit. Both characters have a bow and arrow, so that, you know, that helps out a little bit. Although Link does have a sword, and uh, Pit nor Dark Pit have a sword. They do kind of have their... I don't know what weapon that is. I don't know. It's like a... It's a bow when it's together, but it can also go into... Um, they can break it in half. So, dude, Link is going nuts right now. Team Kid Icarus has to hope that the, uh, what it... Okay, Dark Pit, that was a weird angle. I don't know why you did... Oh! Dark Pit got a down air, but the spike was not deadly enough. Link was able to recover! Throws him against the upper floor. And Dark Pit actually gets a very cheeky stock. Ganondorf! Is able to grab it? Golly. Oh, oh my gosh! Dark Pit's soul is gone. Left his body with that down air. That was crazy. Okay, dude, Pit's going nuts. A little side B action. Dash attack. Ganon! What are you- Ganon. Ganon! Why did you SD? Now Zelda has to make a 2-1 to one stock comeback? Because you decided you just didn't want to play after taking Dark Pit's life? Dude, poor Zelda, dude. She's put... Okay. Oh my gosh, Pit SD'd too! No, he didn't. I thought he did. I thought he just SD'd. I was about to be like, this is crazy. Good little forward smash from Zelda. Zelda needs to, like, get Pit's... She just needs to get a lot of damage on Pit and then get a Smash Ball... And not take, like, any damage from here on out. And that's just to have a chance. Good up smash. Okay, we're just, we're just running in circles. Okay, side B missed. Okay, speaking of, hold on, Smash Ball. If Zelda gets this, Pit will definitely be over 100%. And Zelda's is one of the final smashes where if your opponent is over 100% in the stock when you hit it, it's an insta-kill. Let's go. <laughs> Zelda's put her team back in play. Okay, Palutena's freaking nuts, though. What a dodge of the up smash. That would have been catastrophic. 
Politana, though. I mean, she's she's not to be messed with. She can zone you out with her projectiles! Okay, counter works, too. Yeah, that... Forgot about that. I want to say this right now, because I know I'm going to... If I don't preface this, I know people will say it in the comments. I am not a Kid Icarus hater. I repeat... I don't hate Kid Icarus. The only reason they won that was because Ganondorf SD'd and left Zelda to fend for herself. Who said that? We're moving on. Although I was kind of bashing Ganondorf, he did help. Technically, not his team. He, I mean, he fully threw for his team. But a team on defense did win. So, like... Congratulations, I guess, to Team Icarus for being the first team to win on defense. Granted, one of your opponents threw, but he did take one of your fighter's souls with him as he did that. So, who's the real winner? It's still you, but, I mean, you know. We gotta think about that. Six teams remain, and we have yet to see most of the new teams. Or teams that weren't even in the um, first video. We are going to see Team Fire Emblem. This viewer had a lot of characters to pick from. However, they chose Byleth, Corrin, and Robin to represent Team Fire Emblem. And Team Fire Emblem will be attacking Southwest. And we're headed right back to Sky World. Southwest barely clips into the Kid Icarus territory. So a team that we just saw, honestly, Get a little lucky. We're going to see if it was skill or if it truly was luck. I think this Fire Emblem team will be a true testament to what that was. Here we go back on Sky World. You know the deal. I really don't need to say anything. We're just trying to see what order these fighters are going in. We're going to see Corrin up front taking on Politana, Robin, and then Pit. And honestly, I think, well... I think Kid Icarus is starting with their powerhouse. Palutena is really good. Dark Pit, I mean, he's not to be messed with, but Byleth is seriously not to be messed with. I think Byleth, the Team Fire Emblem is ending with their strongest fighter. And Team Kid, Kid, ah, Team Kid Icarus is starting with theirs. Starting with theirs, Kid Icarus ending with theirs, Team Fire Emblem. No one cares. We just want to see people fight. Palutena doing what she does best. She already has about 50% on Corrin. It's been like two seconds. Okay, little up air. Okay, grab, up throw. Ooh, counter from Corrin. Golly, okay, Corrin actually catching up to Politana's damage. That is um, very impressive. Corrin, I thought, fell through the stage. But they were able to grab on. Little side B, okay. Ooh, counter from Politana. Oh, reflect the neutral B into a side B. That was sick. Politana, I can't even be mad with that. Corrin just fell off the... Dude, why does everyone... Okay, when we're on Sky World, we might have to ban this in Imperialism history. People just fall off the stage. Every time. Like, I, I like Sky World as a stage, but my gosh, everyone just falls off for no reason. Okay, can Robin make a comeback? Corrin honestly was cooking and then just decided they didn't want to play anymore. Oh, good little forward air. It's not enough to get Palutena out of there. Ooh. Okay. Did not attack when the re uh, reflection was active. That's good. Oh, a little up air. Bounce off the stage. Palutena goes down. Robin only has about 30% to his name. That's really good. And Pitt is changing that quickly. I thought Pitt fell off the stage. If that happened, I was just going to ban this stage forever. Pitt might actually. Nope, Pitt's fine. All right, Smash Ball's just sitting there. Robin is trying to break it open. Good down smash, but he set it up for Pit. Oh, no. Robin tries to dodge, but you can't dodge that smash ball from Pit. Pit's looking really good. Byleth coming in, trying to save the day in a very similar scenario that Zelda was in. Two stocks to one, and Pit is just... The combos are crazy. Down smash, up air, side B, grab and down throw, whatever it is. Back air, Pit doesn't stop! Byleth needs, like, something crazy. 
Okay. Good little dash attack. Okay, good forward air. Oh, down tilt. Oh, into the side B, but it didn't connect. Good parry from Byleth into a back throw. And then it instantly gets countered. Back air. Oh, forward air! Byleth only has 78%. That is a lot, but... Byleth's not out of it. Team Fire Emblem is hanging on by the skin of their teeth. Good parry. Oh, back air from Byleth. Oh, into a neutral air from Dark Pit. Oh, side B. Devastating. Byleth does get back on stage. That tether. I will never understand how tether recoveries work. Another side B from Byleth. Tried to charge the neutral B, but the side B from Dark Pit interrupted that. Oh my gosh! The up air from Byleth bounced off of Sky World, and Byleth clutches the win for Team Fire Emblem. Oh my gosh! I thought Dark Pit had it. Byleth was... Oh, words! I'm so surprised! If you didn't love that comeback from Team Fire Emblem, you don't enjoy fun and action. Alright? That is the pinnacle of excitement. So, if we look at, take a quick look at the map, with that win, Team Fire Emblem does control the entire southern portion of the map, and then Team Mario controls most of the middle of the map. We have yet to see Team Third Party, Team NES, and Team Kirby. Here we go. Half of the teams have been eliminated, and next we are going to see... Ah, it does not sit. We are going to see another team that we have already seen, Team Mario. Team Mario is going to be headed northeast this time. Which means we are going to be seeing a new team, Team NES. Which is a team that I never would have thought to have included, so very big props to the viewer. A very diverse cast of characters representing Team NES. We have the Ice Climbers, Duck Hunt, and then of course, Little Mac. So here we go, Team Mario is attacking Team NES, and I asked Brianna which stage she would like to see, and she said that the Summit, aka Ice Climbers Home Turf, is probably the best. We just randomly picked one, it really doesn't matter. We did need a Home Turf, and it is a diverse crew of characters, so if you don't like it, deal with it. Here we go, Peach against Little Mac, oh yikes, okay. Bowser, Duck Hunt, that's honestly pretty even, and then, honestly? This could be good. I think Little Mac beats Peach 9 out of 10 times, but the stage could backfire here for Little Mac. Because, again, his recovery is trash. Um, so, honestly, this might not be too bad. This could get really, really good. Little Mac also can't use his speed a whole lot. There's not a lot of uh, mobility options for him. A counter, okay. And th there is ice, so the stage is a little slippery. Good little forward. Oh, my gosh. Forward smash into an up smash. Icicle hits Peach. Little Mac barely gets back on the stage. Oh, a cha hip check from Peach! Oh, no! Okay, sour spot for Little Mac. Honestly, that really worked out for Little Mac and not Peach because that sour spot actually saved Little Mac. Okay, Little Mac has his KO punch! Is he gonna use it? Still has it! Little Mac, you gotta use it! And it's gone. Alright. Eh, well, Little Mac, I told you to use it. Okay! Neutral air from... Uh, Peach. Alright, here comes Duck Hunt. Little Mac did a lot of damage, honestly. With the stage that was randomly selected, Little Mac did pretty good. Oh, spike from Duck Hunt! And the fish almost got Peach, but she was barely able to recover. Ford Smash, but the stage saved Peach. There's the fish again. If they keep flopping around in that water, that fish is going to get them at one point. Here it comes! Okay, wow, the explosion from Duck Hunt, the fish hit it, and then it hit Peach. I'm very confused. Dude, I am so surprised that Peach is living this long. This is crazy. Oh my gosh, Peach with another neutral air! She's doing it all! Ice Climbers on their home turf, they need to- That was nuts, the Ford air. They need to go pretty much flawlessly here. They got Peach with a good Ford air. But is it going to be good enough to get Bowser? He is a menace. Alright. I don't know what's with all the, the food. I 
don't know if that's... I think that's part of the stage? I, I really don't get it. There's food everywhere. Honestly, Ice Climbers are actually going nuts? Hold on. Oh, no! Oh, Bowser footstooled! Oh! What? Wait, what? So I don't know what happened, but I'm pretty sure Bowser footstooled Nana. And then Nana and Poe got back together as the stage started to shift. They did their recovery, but because the stage shifted, it actually ate their recovery and they would need to do it again. But since the computer already did it, they didn't do it again. And since they were on the mountain slope, they got whisked away. So did Bowser, but they also saw Mario. But Bowser never lost a stock, so... I'm not sure if that's what happened. But it, a lot happened very fast. Well, Team Mario is doing what we thought they always would and could do. They are just dominating all of the competition. Team Third Party and Team Kirby still could technically intervene and stop them. And then there's also Team Fire Emblem. I mean, I really do think it's any team's game, but Team Mario is looking very, very scary. And Bowser is just, I mean, he's doing Bowser-like things. Down to the final four. Are we going to see a new team? No, we will not. We will see Team Fire Emblem. Uh, team Kirby is kind of in a little corner. So I think the only teams that Fire Emblem can attack is Team Mario, which is the most likely scenario. And then we also have Team Third Party. They could attack if it's a little more Northwest. Team Fire Emblem will be attacking Southeast, I don't think, is an option. Southeast is a very interesting scenario, but there is this tiny little lip here that if we go Southeast, it does go into the Mario territory. So this is the biggest fight of the video. All of the land is at stake. There's two little corners, Team Third Party and Team Kirby. They haven't done anything. Team Mario controls most of the North, and then Team Fire Emblem controls all of the South. Who is going to win this exchange for basically the entire map? Who is going to win? A wizard? A dragon hybrid? Or someone who is a master in all three weapons? Or a plumber? A princess? And a big giant turtle? The sad part is, either one could win. We pick random, and we're going to see Byleth is actually starting this one out. Again, the powerhouse. Going up against Peach, I think that's very one-sided. Uh, the Dragon Corn is going up against the Plumber, and then... Uh, okay, honestly, Fire Emblem's team gets worse, and then Mario's team gets way better, like, as time goes on. So Byleth needs to do a lot of damage up front. Byleth is a reason they're still here. They clutched it up last time, so... Byleth needs to start doing some damage, needs to do it a lot, needs to do it quickly, and needs to give a lot of damage and not receive. Good side B, aerial side B, interesting. Okay, oh, Peach is actually, hold on, why is Peach cooking? Byleth, bro, you're losing to a princess who gets captured by a turtle. Alright, step up your game. Dude, you're getting worked right now. Do you want to... Okay, good grab, back throw. Oh, into a neutral air. That was actually a really good combo there. I can't be mad about that. Oh, not the Hacha. Don't let her Hacha you. Okay, Violet, don't let her do anything. Why are you losing this exchange? <laughs> Violet, you're the reason your team is going to win or lose. You're going up against their weakest competitor right now. Bowser's the main threat. It's not Peach. Good little recovery to use as an attack. Okay, Byleth, you're about to die. This is this is not good. If I'm Byleth, I am terrified. Good little Ford Air. Smash Ball is online. Oh, another Ford Air. Bro, Peach is literally... Oh my gosh, Byleth, you deserve to lose this stock. I'm so ashamed of you. Yeah. Wow, Peach Ford smashes the wrong way. Okay, now Byleth launches off the stage. Yeah, okay, Peach, you got so lucky. 
Here comes Corrin. Dude, that Smash Ball for Peach is so good. It puts the opponents to sleep. She gets a free fully charged hit on any of them. And then she also gets to recover health just because. Like, that's super busted. Okay, why is Peach, like, actually the most fierce opponent on Team Mario? This is the second time she's, like, just tearing things up for no reason. I was giving her, like, you know... I was saying, wow, Peach is, like, super weak. Dude, she's tearing it up! Like, what? Don't even get me started on her Hachas. Those Hachas are not... They're not great! You don't want the Hacha. I don't understand why Peach is so good right now. I don't get it. I may never fully understand. Corn is doing everything they can. Board smash, but the stage saves Peach. It is home turf, so... Another smash ball. If Peach gets this, it's so over. Next hit should break it. Okay. Oh, no! Next hit definitely breaks it. Peach gets it. Oh my gosh, Peach is on a tear right now. Gets him with the Hacha. That's crazy. She's at 127. There is another Peach on the field. So she could... Okay, and, and Robin got it. Okay, that's fine. Dude, if Peach fully gets all three of them with just... Her, like, if Bowser nor Mario hit the field and Peach does... Gets all of the Fire Emblem characters out. I will be flabbergasted. I mean, granted, Team Mario wins this. There's no way. Mario could SD. And they would still win. Dude, Peach is not messing her. She's never been this good. I'm so confused. Okay, a grab to steal some of her HP. But that's really not going to do a whole lot. Stage saved her yet again. Back throw finally gets her. Here comes Mario. Mario, if y'all lose this, I'm going to be just so mad and disgusted. Okay, Robin is actually kind of cooking right now. Let him cook. All right, and Mario's getting a combo. All right, oh my gosh, the aerial game from Mario is nuts. Wow. Good parry from Robin. Okay, down air. If that was over a pit, Robin got an early stock, but uh, he did not. Hold on. If Robin gets the stock and then uses the Smash Ball on Bowser, Team Fire Emblem could win. Do not let Mario get that. Mario has it and you lost. Good job, Robin. You just lost the game. Oh my gosh, the stage saved him. Peach Castle's Give it, and it taketh away. Robin is still alive. This is nuts. Mario, what are you doing? There's no way. Bowser clutches this, right? Stage saved him. That's crazy. Dude, if Mario, Team Mario loses this, I'm, I'm never going to let them live this down. Mario went way low after wasting the Smash Ball. Oh my gosh, I thought Bowser went too low and did the same thing. Dude, Bowser's always gonna win, man. Like, you can't beat Bowser. If you're going up against Bowser, you lose. What did I say? If Mario SDs, they'll be fine. And he did, and they were fine. Like, I... Peach won them that game. Mario did nothing. And then Bowser was just there. Three teams remain. And Team Mario is the team to beat. I mean, last time we did this, the final two teams were Team Princess, which had team, which had members, Peach, Daisy, and Rosalina. And then the opponent team was Team Villain, which was Bowser, Ganondorf, and Ridley. This team has two members that were in the final two teams the first time we did this. And I don't see them losing. I... No offense to Team Third Party or Team Kirby. If they can pull this off, I might shave one of my eyebrows. Because I just don't see it happen. After we spin this wheel and then the arrow, only one team 
Well, one team will automatically go to the finals. Team Mario just wants all the smoke. If they go more west, they're attacking Team Third Party. If it's more east, it's Team Kirby. And they'll be attacking... Oh, wow. Straight to Team Kirby. So Mario, Peach, and Bowser will be headed to Kirby, Meta Knight, and King DDD's home turf. This is the only team that might actually stand a chance because the only character that is just as annoying, if not more annoying than Bowser, is King DDD. Although it may not seem like it due to the land that these two teams have um, gathered, that they have imperialized, that's not the adjective, but whatever, this might be the most even match. Kirby and Mario pretty even, King, uh, King DDD and Bowser pretty even, I'd say Meta Knight probably beats Peach, but honestly Peach has been going nuts, so maybe I don't know anything. So we're going to see Peach and King DDD, Bowser and Kirby, and then Mario and Meta Knight. Now this might get very, very interesting. Peach has been tearing it up for no reason, and King DDD is known to just destroy his opponents. So this is going to get very interesting. Okay, a little down tilt oh had a four uh forward smash charged okay not the hachas okay actually gets the forward smash off oh neutral air does not do anything wow okay the ddd neutral air game is not impressing peach like at all and you know what i i gotta agree with peach on that neutral air yeah okay good little I don't know if that was a jab or forward tilt from DDD. That's a forward air, I know that. Side B does not connect. Side B is probably DDD's most menacing move. And, okay, it just got deflected by Peach like it was no one's business. Okay, there that one didn't. Good up air. Okay. Oh. Wow. Just a good old classic forward tilt. That's going to do it. Bowser's coming in. And if anyone's going to take out DDD, it's going to be Bowser. But if anyone's going to destroy Bowser, it's going to be DDD. So this is a really good back and forth here. Like, I don't know if one person has the advantage over the other. They're both very annoying, both very big, both very bad. Except apparently DDD's not a bad guy. Didn't know that. Oh, the hammer was blocked. Actually parried by Bowser. Good little up tilt. Good little side B, actually. Oh, got denied by a little forward smash. Oh! Or not Ford Smash, Ford Air, my bad. Words are hard. Another Ford Air. Dude, DDD's tearing it up. Oh my gosh. DDD said, hey, remember Peach's performance? Yeah. That was that was child's play. Oh my gosh, the Ford Air. Now Mario has to do a 3-1 to one comeback. I don't see it happening. Good back throw. It's not going to do it, though. Side B. Oh, dude, if DDD gets the Smash Ball, it's a 3-1, to one and... King, and Team Kirby just wins. Although Mario did get the Smash Ball. Up tilt. Or forward tilt. One of the tilts. I am tilted. Tilted towers. Sorry. That was bad. Alright. Here we go. DDD. Coming in. Honestly. Had the dash attack. It got cancelled. Oh. Up tilt. Side B got eaten. Mario I think is trying to save this for Kirby. Which honestly is a smart move. But he's taking way too much damage. If he uses it now, it's it's a waste. Oh, blocks the side B. DDD knocks it out of Mario. Next hit should break it. Mario gets it again. Oh my gosh. DDD knocks it out of Mario and might steal it. Forward tilt. Up air. Oh my gosh. If DDD... There's no way. There's no way. He didn't even use it! King DDD solo carried Team Kirby and they didn't even use the Smash Ball! What the heck? We'll talk about a turn of events. That went from the Mario Showcase to the Kirby DDD Domination Show. So, uh, Kirby, Team Kirby. Now controls the entire map, except for the top left portion of the map, which is Team Third Party. 
and I will announce who is on team third party when we find out who is attacking. So both teams made it to the finals. Congratulations, uh, team third party. You did nothing and watch your opponents destroy themselves. So good job. We're going to find out who's attacking, which means the other team is going to have home field advantage. Is it going to be team Kirby or third party having home field advantage? We're going right back to dreamland because Kirby is defending as team third party is going to be attacking and team third party consists of cloud sonic and steve headed to dreamland fighting Kirby meta knight and king ddd or maybe just king ddd he can solo people so can Kirby you know what I don't see team third party winning but who knows we could have an upset of the century today Here we go, can team third party, a little hodgepodge group of just randoms, take out team Kirby on their home turf. Let's hit random and see what happens. Steve against Meta Knight, Cloud against Kirby, and then Sonic against King DDD. Here we go, Steve could either be a huge help or a huge hindrance to his team. Sometimes he is elite, and sometimes he's trash. So we're about to find out. Alright, a little Ford air. Okay, oh, oh, oh! Okay. We have TNT. The best kind of T. Wow, okay, Man and I just breeze past the TNT like it was, you know, his day job. Alright, Steve probably needs to start mining stuff. Ooh, good Ford smash. Got some iron. He has iron tools now. It's great. TNT! And Meta Knight just... I don't even know what happened, honestly. I don't know if Meta Knight SD'd or if he didn't do some aerial right. Dude, Steve's going nuts. Steve's trying to pull a DDD. He's like, actually, I'm just gonna solo their entire team. They're not that scary. Oh, little minecart action. Oh! If that was anyone that wasn't Kirby who had 19,000 jumps to his name, Steve gets that stock. Ooh, little side beast. Okay. Kirby's going nuts. We have known Kirby to just, like, take out four people's stocks before. So this is, this is not new territory for Kirby. Good block. Okay. Steve is hanging on right now. He's, he's doing his thing. Oh, a little minecart. Oh, up tilt into the recovery for Kirby. That was good, but Steve, he's ready for that. Okay, up smash is going to get it. Steve was not able to take out Kirby. Smash Ball is here, and Cloud needs to get here before Kirby... And Kirby got it. Okay. I was going to say, Cloud needs to get here before Kirby just steals it. And, wow. If Kirby gets this stock super early... Okay. Well, actually, Cloud's recovery isn't that good. Sonic has to take out both Kirby and DDD. I just don't see it happening. Especially since Kirby just used the Smash Ball. Sonic. Sonic! What? If you don't want to fight, just say it next time! Like, okay, I knew Team Kirby was going to win, but like... That was the final round, and now, like, I'm just sad, man. Cloud, he died because his recovery is trash. Sonic literally fell off the stage, like, I just wanted a good final round. Is that too much to ask? Congrats to Team Kirby. You win yet again. Kirby and King DDD are used to winning. They're in the winner's club. This is not, this is not new to them. Kirby might have the most wins in Smash Imperialism channel history. They have the Subspace Emissary one, they have this one, they have the original eight. I mean, they're winning left, right, and center. Kirby's up there with Kazuya and Isabelle in the number of wins they got. And honestly, Andrew, Andrew's me for some reason. I don't know why, he's just elite. He did it again the other day, so. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys in another Smash Imperialism video. We got a few more um, viewer recommendations or ideas, and please keep leaving those down in the comments. As long as you keep supplying ideas, 
and watching this, I will keep making them. But I am running out of ideas again. Like I said last episode, my creativity is, uh, it's not dwindling. It's just being put in other areas for internship and for uh, college classes. So I don't have as much time to dedicate ideas to YouTube. But I still will make videos and make your ideas possible. And like I said, you get a shout out if you give me a good idea that I use. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time in another Smash Imperialism video. Um, but yeah, congrats to Team Kirby. Meta Knight, you were on the winning team. I don't think you did a darn diddly thing, but you are surrounded by good company. So good for you, Meta Knight.